Hello! Good morning everybody! Pirate Captain Story Bear and I have had a very exciting week. We've been building boats, we've been reading stories, and do you know that he has even found a treasure map? A real life treasure map. Can you see it? It's got two trees and two rocks and an X on. And on the back there was a clue. And it says, between the palm trees and the rocks, six foot deep lies a treasure box. So this afternoon we are going to go on a pirate adventure and see if we can find the hidden treasure. Oh, I wonder what it will be. Maybe it will be diamonds or sweets or chocolate coins. Mm, that would be nice treasure, wouldn't it? I wonder what we'll find. Should we get started with our song, Captain Pirate Story Bear or Pirate Cat? He's telling me off. It's Pirate Captain Story Bear. And he's very cross apparently because I'm not wearing my pirate hat today. I'm sorry, Story Bear. I did the full pirate outfit the other day. He's giving me the look. Let's start. Welcome, welcome everyone, it's story time, let's have some fun. Close your eyes and zoom away, where will the story take us today? Will we go under the sea? <laughs> what kind of fishes will we see? Or will we zoom up very high? <laughs> In a rocket to the sky? Or maybe we'll go under the ground? Where animals can be found. Oh, there was one under the boat. Did you see it? Have you got any moles at home today? Let's look inside our story sack and see where we're going today. Where will we go today? You all right there? Pull you at Captain Stoiber. He's guarding his ships, making sure they don't escape. Let's see where we're going today. Trip, trip, trap. Hmm? Yarr! Hmm. I'm not sure. There was a trip trap, a yar, and then a kind of a fish type sound. Let's see. Aha! The, the troll. Hmm. Oh! I see a skull and some crossbones <gasps> and I see some pirates. I wonder what's happening in our story today. The troll. Let's see. There once was a troll who lived under a bridge. Well, that's where the tro trolls are supposed to live. But there's this bridge. Meanwhile, Far out at sea, there were some pirates who lived on a ship. Well, that's where pirates are supposed to live. Oh, look, one, two, three, four pirates on the ship. Oh, he's even got skull and crossbones on his pants. Trolls are supposed to eat goats. But no goats ever came trip trapping over this little troll's bridge. So he ate fish instead. But one morning, he heard a faint noise on his bridge. Up he popped, and he said what trolls are supposed to say, which is, Who's that trip dropping over my bridge? Um, I'm not trip trapping. I'm scuttling, said a tiny black creature, and um, I'm a spider. Oh, bother. I thought you were a goat, said the troll. No, goats have fur, said the spider. Hmm, well, never mind. I'll eat you anyway, said the troll. You'll make a nice change from fish. Oh, um, please don't eat me, said the spider. Why don't you go further down the river to the next bridge? It's a much better bridge for goats. Hmm, all right then said the troll, so he packed up his frying pan and his cookery book, and off he strode. Pirates are supposed to dig for treasure, and these pirates had a treasure map. Between the palm tree and the rocks, six foot deep lies a treasure box. That rhyme sounds familiar. 
wonder why. Hmm. They sailed and they sailed until they reached an island. This is a spot, said Hank Chief. Start digging. The pirates dug and they dug, but all they found was a grumpy mole. Ah. Oh, must be the wrong island, they said. All that digging had made them hungry. It was Ben Buckle's turn to do the cooking. He had cooked fish pie. Mmm. Ah, it's soggy, said Percy Patch. It's slimy, said Peg Polka Dot. When we find the gold, we can buy a decent cookery book, said Hank Chief. And they set sail again. The troll was sitting under his new, middling-sized bridge, reading his cookery book, when suddenly he heard a sound above his head. Ready? Join in. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? He roared. Oh, I'm not trip trapping. I'm pattering, said the fairy creature. And a mouse. Oh, bother. I thought you were a goat, said the troll. No, goats have longer ears, said the mouse. Hmm, never mind. I'll eat you anyway, said the troll. I'm getting sick of fish. Don't eat me, said the mouse. Why don't you go down to the next bridge? There are goats trip trapping over that one all the time. Oh, very well, said the troll, and he packed up his things, and again off he strode. Meanwhile, the pirates had discovered another island. They dug and they dug, but all they found was a rusty old bucket with a crab inside. Oh, it's the wrong island again, they said. That night, Percy Patch did the cooking. He cooked fish soup. Mm. Ah, it's bony, said Ben Buckle. It's brainy, said Polka Dot Peg. Arr, if only we could find the gold. We'd pay for a proper cook, said Hank Chief. The troll was frying fish under his big new bridge when he heard a sound above his head. Ready? Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? He bellowed. Uh, I'm not trip trapping. I'm lolloping, said the creature with long ears. And I'm a rabbit. Oh, bother. I thought you were a goat, said the troll. No, goats have hooves, said the rabbit. Well, <laughs> never mind. I'll eat you anyway, said the troll. Anything's better than fish. Oh, please don't eat me, said the rabbit. Why don't you walk down to the next bridge? There are herds of goats trip trapping over that one. Are you sure? asked the troll. And once again he packed up and off he strode. Meanwhile, the pirates were digging on a new island. They dug and they dug, but all they found was an old Wellington boot with a nest of centipedes in it. Or we'll never find the right island, they said. That night, it was Peg Polka Dot's turn to do the cooking. She cooked fish cakes. Whoa. Whoa, this diggy, said Ben Buckle. Uh, sandy, said Percy Patch. Hank Chief said nothing. He was too busy being sick over the side of the ship. Whoa. The Trolls River grew wider and wider. Then it stopped being a river and it flowed into the sea. The troll found himself on a sandy beach. Oh, there isn't another bridge, he said. The rabbit was tricking me. Then he spotted some hoof prints in the sand. Oh, a goat, at last, he cried. He looked around, but he couldn't see any goats. Hmm, never mind. It will probably come back tomorrow, he said. The troll followed the hoof prints. Oh, can you see something? They led him to a spot between a tall palm tree and two big rocks. I know, he thought. I'll dig a pit. Then tomorrow the goat will fall into it and I can eat it. Mm. The troll dug and dug with his frying pan. Just when he thought the hole was deep enough, his pants hit something hard. It was a great big chest. Perfect, said the troll. I can hide in here and keep warm. Then when the goat falls into the hole, I'll open the lid and pop out. Rawr! He lifted the lid. The chest was full of round gold things. Oh, well, these are no use to me, he said. And he threw 
them into the sea. Then he climbed into the chest and lay down. <sighs> Tomorrow I can have goat for breakfast instead of fish, he thought, and he drifted off to sleep. It was dark when the pirates arrived at the next island. There's is a spot, said Hank Chief. But someone's been digging here already, said Ben Buckle. Don't see they found the treasure before us, said Percy Patch. No, look, here it is. The chest was heavy. Must be full of gold, said Hank Chief. Quick, back to the ship before anyone stops us. The troll was woken by a loud bang. That's my breakfast falling into the hole, he thought. But why was the chest heaving and swaying? And why was the lid opening? Surely goats can't open lids. The lid opened wide. Staring down at the troll were four angry pirates. Yar! Where's the gold? shouted Hank Chief. Um, I, I, I threw it into the sea, said the troll. The plank! The plank! yelled Bell and Buckle and Percy Patch. Make him walk the plank! Oh dear, poor troll. The next second, the pirates were pushing him onto it. Who's that trip trapping over my plank? jeered Hank Chief. Well, I'm, I'm not trip trapping, I'm shuffling, said the troll in a very small voice. And I'm, I'm a troll. He reached the end of the plank. His knees were knocking. Oh, jump, yelled the pirates. Oh, 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 oh. But just then, Peg Polkadot came running up. Wee! she cried. We found something else inside the chest. In one hand, she held the troll's frying pan, and in the other hand, she held his cooking book. Stop! cried Hank Chief. He looked at the troll in a new way. Can you cook? he asked. Um, yes, the troll said. Yeah! shouted the pirates. Then you can stay, said Hank Chief. Oh, thank you, said the troll, and he shuffled back along the plank. Um, when shall I start? Now, said Hank. The pirate showed the troll the ship's kitchen. The troll grinned. <laughs> he turned to his favourite page in his cookery book. Uh, shall I make us a nice goat stew? He asked. Goat? Goat? The pirates don't eat goat, said Hank Chief. We want what pirates are supposed to eat. Um, well, what, what's that? asked the troll. Fish, said the pirate chief. Oh, poor troll. All he wanted was a tasty goat for dinner. And he ended up with more fish. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. And I hope you have enjoyed our pirate week this week. Pirate Captain Story Bear and I are off to hunt for treasure this afternoon. I'll send you a video to show you how we get on. I hope you've had lots of fun making your boats. And we'll see you next week for another adventure. You ready, Pirate Captain Story Bear? Goodbye, goodbye everyone. Story time's over. We hope you've had fun. Story Bear's excited. He's got such a busy time. We're going to dig for treasure. So we'll say goodbye, goodbye.